Hi, and welcome to this week's look at headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration put a halt to the use of seven food additives recently after it was shown that six of the synthetic flavoring substances caused cancer in lab animals. However, the use of the additives was approved by the FDA back in 1964. They've been in things like candy, ice cream, gum, drinks, and other foods since then. Companies that use the additives still have 24 months to find suitable replacements. The FDA's action came after environmentalists and food safety experts filed a petition after showing data that the substances caused cancer in the lab animals. You can find a list of the substances in question in the description of this video below. Whether or not alcohol in limited quantities is healthy is a constant debate. Now a new study out of Missouri is indicating you might want to put down that glass of wine. The study looked at more than 400,000 people between the ages of 18 and 85. It showed that consuming one to two drinks four or more times a week increases the risk of premature death by 20% compared with drinking three times a week or less. There are studies that suggest that light drinking can help improve cardiovascular health, but the lead author said those potential gains are outweighed by other risks like an increased cancer risk and, as a result, a greater mortality risk. Finally, antibiotic overuse continues to be a problem According to a recent study, the study looked at outpatient prescriptions over a two-year period from over 500 clinics and more than half a million prescriptions. The results showed that 46% of antibiotics were prescribed without an infection-related diagnosis. 20% of the antibiotics were prescribed outside an in-person visit like over the phone or online. The lead author said it appears there is still a lot of antibiotic prescribing for things like the cold and flu where antibiotics will not help. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter so you stay connected to the latest in natural health.